What is going on guys, my name is Bryce and today we're going to try out how fast this thing can actually print. Alright guys, so well, uh, first thing I'd have to say is before we get started, uh, I'd like to thank Will for sending over the awesome That 3D Print Guy shirt, uh, actually very comfortable shirt. And I'd also like to say uh, thank you guys for the support on the Hypercube video, um, as well as all the new subscribers. So, uh, welcome you guys. But uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to jump right in and we're going to see how fast this thing can actually print. Um, so first off, I do have to show you guys, this is a uh, low poly, um, pretty much vase mode hack that uh, Angus did. Um, and I just followed that, that what he did. And, I printed this, and I'm just going to tell you guys out right now. This is, this was printed at uh, 150 millimeters per second. Now, for this video, I was I was giving or taking on what I actually wanted to uh, what I actually wanted to get the particular speed at, but um, I was actually able to get pretty high up towards sort of 300 millimeters per second, which is stupid high, by the way, and completely impractical. So I have two cubes here. Uh, these are 40 millimeter cubes, um, and I will give, I will put uh, higher quality images in uh, in this. But we have this. Let's see if it will focus on it. No, it does not want to focus. Focus. Okay, as you guys can see, the layers on that light there, you can see uh, the layers are quite consistent. Uh, but the top is not the greatest. Oh, don't focus on me. The the top is not the greatest. Um, try and get it. As you can see, it's a bit patchy and splotchy and stuff from the infill. Uh, that was actually printed at 100% space. So this was printed at 70, uh, 70 uh, millimeters per second. This was actually uh, my control cube, and it was average. Um, Funny enough, I'd say it probably needed another top layer to clean off that top. This, however, was started at 70 millimeters per second and was actually um, then sped up to uh, 300 millimeters per second. Now, I'm not 100% sure at how fast uh, these sides were actually printed at. I know it was close to 300 because of the acceleration and jerk values have to slow and speed up the uh, the cube but we'll see you might be able to see if I can get it to focus focus on my hand um, you guys can see a bit of a slight different uh, discoloration there from the cube uh, that was actually when I changed it and funny enough I actually noticed when printing at these higher speeds um, especially this plastic that has a bit of more of a glossy color to it um, actually it was coming out more of a matte finish uh, from the uh, the nozzle and stuff like that as well as I also noticed you don't really need that much of a cooling fan when you're printing at high speeds like this because like someone on the uh, the Facebook group actually mentioned something about the fact that the nozzle is probably moving that fast it makes its own draft to actually cool this thing down um, but if you also look at the top I actually got a much cleaner top on this, Let's see if I can focus on my hands. I got a really clean top, surprisingly. Um, I will give a close up on this though, because there are small gaps in the in the top. Um, because when it was moving, um, one one major problem about how fast this printer can print is, although it can do the speed, uh, there was still um, the the filament wasn't getting hot enough in the hot end fast enough. So, being something in those sort of speeds, you'd probably be looking at maybe using something like an E3D Titan. Uh, no, sorry, a Volcano. Uh, the Titan's the extruder. Actually, you'd probably want to use one of them too. Um, but, I also have these two things. Now, uh, I, I did a small live stream on the uh, 3D Printing Facebook group. Uh, that will also be linked in the description for anyone that would like to join. Um, and a lot of people didn't believe that I was able to achieve somewhere around the neighborhood of 300 millimeters per second. Uh, so I did a little live stream and I printed this thing. Um, unfortunately, my phone ran out of, well, it didn't run out of battery, it got too hot. Um, but it shut, and it shut down the stream. But 
we were printing this, and I will be showing some footage in, in this video as well of this. Um, this is just a 60mm cube, 60x60x60 60 60 with, um, I think, a 3 or 4mm radius um, corner, and this thing was flying when it was printing. Like, this thing was really going. Uh, the infill was a lot slower than the outer perimeter for some reason, um, but you also notice, um, you can see kind of, um, printing a black probably didn't help, um, but, uh, let's see if I can get that to focus, hello, focus, okay, so like you can see there's this ridge here, um, just there, um, that was actually caused from the acceleration and deceleration, funny enough, but we we are actually getting some pretty consistent layers um, in the high acceleration spot. Um, as you can see in that light reflection there, it's actually a pretty clean sidewall. Um, there was a lot of vibration, and I'm talking a lot of vibration uh, when printing this sort of stuff. Also, and I'll, and I'll show you a closer photo up because this is kind of hard to see. Um, just, just on video, but um, in, when it was printing a lot faster, uh, the layers came out way smoother as well. Um, but here's a, another little test. Let's pull this wisp of uh, stuff off. Um, and now uh, this was the same cube, but printed with a couple, but two, three bottom layers and uh, hollow inside and no top layers. It was pretty much printed in VARS mode as VARS mode allows pretty much continuous speed printing. So this was going really fast. It was going ham at uh, printing this. And you can just see the limitations of how fast this printer can actually print. So this was, was printing at 300 millimeters per second. Um, and you can actually see all those bumps and holes and stuff in the corners where it slowed down a little bit. Um, this is this is pretty much maxing it out. But some of the other parts, if we look, are like perfect, like perfect sidewalls that are like super smooth and really really clean. And if if and these are these are printed at 0.2 layer height. So uh, say you were printing something and you were getting layers like this um, for a finishing product. This, this would, you wouldn't almost have to do any post-processing work to smooth the product because it's actually really, really smooth as it is. Like I will show you guys later, but the, uh, the the layer lines are near non-existent, surprisingly, except for obviously where it slows down and caused holes and boogers and stuff. Um, but yeah, so like um, after all the testing and stuff, I spent a couple days. Uh, printing and doing a whole bunch of random stuff uh, with this printer. Um, I, con to conclusion, I, I kind of felt that the maximum speed really possible to print reliable parts at, because I after throwing these cubes at it, uh, it was okay. They they can print quickly, but they definitely cannot print uh, very well if you throw something a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more detailed, like I printed one of my uh, spool holders that hold my spools to the side of my cabinet. I printed one of them, and it, it was lucky to cap 200 um, in, on the long straight, and it's got a pretty long straight on it. So um, I'd, I'd probably say the maximum speed that this printer, this Hypercube, can really reach, I would say, would be roughly about 150 millimeters per second if you're, if you're really pushing it. Uh, anything above that, I can tell you, right, look, you, you're getting high speeds, but you're not really, uh, you, you know, you're not really going to get very good detail and quality because the printer is just printing so quickly that you're losing out on detailing, especially in something like this where the corners are just, okay, the surfaces on, on the straights are alright, but anytime it got near a corner, it just turned into a mangled mess. So, and, you know, on this one, again, large ridges on the corners where it has to decelerate. So, uh, pretty much, I'd have to say, yeah, 150 millimeters per second is probably the fastest I'd ever go for this printer. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is...
kind of a little bit of a rushy video because I figured um, with all the the extra views and subscribers from the last video, I really wanted to get another video out. So uh, I'd have to thank you guys all for coming along and viewing the Hypercube video and hopefully this one too. Uh, make sure you guys uh, do click that subscribe button. It really does uh, help me out and it does uh, make sure that you stay up to date on the content on, uh, on my channel. Uh, when you subscribe, make sure you click the little bell to make sure that you know when I actually upload a video. And make sure you hit that like button because that really does help us out. Um, everyone else uh, to be able to see these sort of videos if they're uh, that sort of into this sort of 3D printing and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.